do your thing, 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 do your thing. Basement jacks, do your thing. Shh, quiet. I have to lower it. I have to lower it. I'll just keep dancing. Um, Welcome to my watch box. It's actually filled with IMs, and it's a brilliant idea, and you should all pick this up for like $17. Oh, God, reflections. That's evil. Um, There's a set of IMs that's not in here anymore because I sold it. It's the Fio FH5s. Pretty sure I sold those in the yard sale. I was just like, you know what? I got better ones. We're checking out. So now that I'm wearing the Fio FH3s, I'd love to compare. Because I think I know a perfect... Like, to get into this box requires, like, Kanira Nanan and FA7s? Are the FA7s in there? There's the Ico OH7s. Blonde BLO3s. Like, you don't have to be expensive to be in this box. There's fucking blondes in here. And then there's those, uh, the, 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 those, and then there's, oh, the, what the hell, oh, sure, tapes, which I don't have the pros yet. We're getting the pros. Pros are coming. But, um, the FH5s lived in there forever. And then they were beaten by several other things, or at least put in the same category. And for some reason, the FH3s, these, have come out way after the FH5s. Like, fucking years, are we plural years now? It's gotta be two years the FH5s have been out. So, Fio has decided to now put out a budget version, which is essentially what I'm going to say is about this. Is this is a budget FH5. But I'm wondering if it sounds better than the original FH5. Because it's 2020, and 2019's IM sounded way better than 2018's IMs, which sounded way better than 2017's IMs. So, we're nearing 2021, and now this is like the talk of the town, for good reason. Because if I turn it up, I get soundstage, maybe not OH10. I, I, I go OH10s, which should also be in there somewhere. What the hell am I? I go OH10s <coughs> are like $180, actually down to $150. And those are the soundstage heavy bass kicking rad IMs of choice. These, however, are probably 90% as wide, not as much low end, like to carry through. But my God, the dual balance, it's got balanced armatures and a dynamic, two balanced armatures and a dynamic. And I'm just here, and I, I could tell when I like an IEM, because I can't think too hard, in case you haven't figured out how these reviews get done. I don't think too hard. I just see a fuss smile. And I, usually I will, you know, start listening, you know, a couple days in a row, and I just see how many full songs I listen to. Because on really good stuff, I don't change tracks. But on like things I'm like, huh, do I like these speakers? Eh. Eh. Just clicking away, next track, next track, next track. And I sat through like an entire Quasimodo fucking um uh what's the hell's the name of the Disney movie with Quasimodo in it? The the tower, the that. Just an entire like singing performance. And I had no urge to change the track. And I didn't realize it till the end that I'm like, I haven't seen Quasimodo. It's got really good music in it. So I guess that means I like the FH3s. Because they are, I'm, they don't sound like the other ones in the price range. That's the thing. Because, I mean, we're at 130 bucks. Which, by the way, Christmas is coming, and $130 is not fucking bad. At $130, if we were to go to Hi-Fi Guides, which I think I have a thing, anime waifus, HiFiGuides.com, which our IM section is incomplete, so we're, we're working on it to try to get it updated before Christmas. If you've never been to HiFiGuides.com, it's linked in every video. We've got a couple broken thumbnails which need to be changed out. It's super incomplete list. But if I jump down the price to around touchpads of the worst, around 160 bucks, and set the minimum to like a hundred bucks, which is a terrible slider for this sort of thing, we get only three IMs. The Starfields, the Seed Twos. And the fucking monoprice M300. So you're useless to me. Useless to me. 
Hopefully it'll be updated by the time this video comes out. You can see the other ones that are out of the category. But I could tell you short tapes, uh, obviously OH10s have dropped near like the 150 mark. We've got the Starfields. The Starfields on there are still very much relevant. But these are more chill than the Starfields. Yet they still have like... <sighs> I want to say these are just purely a soundstage IM. Like these just teach me what soundstage can do on a, on a cheap on a cheap IM. Because I turn them up and it's like, all right, I'm not really impressed by the low end. Is certainly not like the impressive point of this, and the treble gets. I've had it where it's like just the touchest little touch baby bit of like, oh, that's a little bit too much. But then if you get the volume right and you back it down, it's the presentation of sound, the overall like where you're listening to it. That it's like, oh wow, these are fucking. It took me a couple a couple sessions, and like by the third session, like, well, I really like these IMs. It wasn't that immediate snap of like, oh, they're perfect. I love them from the moment I put them on. You go, huh? Everything sounds naturally wide. These might... I don't want to say best, because God Almighty, people will just freak out if I say something is the best of something. But as far as imaging goes, in a wide soundstage I am, I might like these more than the OH-10s. Because it's wide as hell. But there's things happening like very, very precisely in this really good space holographic even like i imagine if you did a lot of lsd and then listened to some really good ims this is what it would probably sound like you'd have like you'd be reaching for notes in the air and like oh man i could almost touch the music which uh not not to encourage any drug use i'm not for it but if you have ever had an experience you know with music and equipment on any sort of psychoacoustic weirdo drugs. What was that like? Because I ain't going to do it. And I don't promote anyone to do it. But if you're recovering, please share. Was it like, did you listen to something and then Metallica was literally in your eyeballs? Like, you just imagine them like drumming. Lars was drumming on your eyeballs. Because I would stop at that point. But these are doing some shit that's like... I was waiting for another $130. Okay, it's another IM. It's just going to be okay. It's not going to have anything special about it. And these have something special about them. And it's not in the frequency response, not the best low end. And it's not, you know, the clearest highs. Because, I, you know, FH5s probably still have clearer highs. But the way these are presenting the sound is like two years have passed and they've tweaked. They've 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 gone and, and they've cleaned all the rough edges off as far as imaging and soundstage. These are impressive as fuck for $130. The only reason you'd get like Starfields over these is if you want the treble to be top notch, because that's what the Starfields were. Top they were top treble. The sure tapes were also top treble. You get the OH10s for soundstage and bass, and these don't have the bass. These have soundstage and and imaging. These are the imaging kings of the budget IMs. Budget being $130 may not be budget for everybody. But when you look at like my box, anything under $500 is fucking budget, apparently. Yeah, no, they... they I'm sure there's already a buzz, because I know, because I checked the keywords on Hi-Fi Guide's forum, the forum connected to that. And FH3 is like the third top search term. Which is partially the reason I'm doing this review instead of like the seven or eight others IMs have lined up. But because also, Fio has not left out a stinker in a while. There was a couple of Fio IMs I was like, eh, this ain't my this ain't my bag, baby. But there's also never been one that's like, oh, this is garbage, throw this away. And um, I feel like whatever they've done to this, if they can push that into the higher end models, if the FH7 V2... Pro XX Plus um, has this level of imaging, like this accuracy of space, and then has the you know seven hundred dollar highs and seven hundred dollar lows. There'd be an un that would be an unbeatable. This is like one of those IMs. I'm sure I'd take them out of my head now because they look just like every other fucking FIO IM, only with less stuff going on. 
uh, the, the wire, by the way, we'll talk about for a second. Sounds like you could start a fire with this. Yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by the, by them. A hundred percent recommendation for these. If they can get this imaging, this sort of level of image accuracy into their more expensive ones, it'll be the end all I am for the next year. Because they finally, like, I feel like Fio is super fucking competent in making IMs. But there's been so many other little brands that came out, like Tin and uh, uh, Blonde, and then uh, Linsel's got Thy Audio. I got the Thy Audio Legacy 4s here, which I haven't listened to, because maybe the Legacy 4s is just better than these. Don't know. I can't listen to all of them and then start doing reviews. I just got to put them on the table and go. Use them for a day, come back, try them on a different player, come back, put them on the table, plug them into this, play. Okay, really give them like an hour and a half of straight, hmm, this, hmm, this. Okay, I formed my opinion. So my Z reviews can survive. Uh, like if I had to look in my box at the other few IMs that remain, like the FA7, which is the one that was super V-shaped, like fuck you V-shaped. Uh, this is like the, I love how different Fio can make all their IMs sound. Because there's been some companies that just put out the same thing over and over and over. And it's like, yeah, okay, sure, I get it. You make neutral IMs. I've heard one, therefore I've heard every sure IM. And it just gets more and more towards neutral, and I hate them all. But this actually sounds legitimately better than their older stuff. And, I, you know, it's it's the same thing with, like, the, like the BTR3, then the BTR5, which blew it away, then the BTR3K, which is, like, the BTR5 but smaller... And then I'm assuming there's going to be a BTR 5K at some point. It's like a constant up. Or well, like the Fio Q1 Mark II, or the Q1 and the Q1 Mark II, then the Q3. Like it's better and better and better. They're very good at going better. They don't fuck up and go backwards usually. And um, as far as the wire goes, this is a, see, this is why I tell you to put the power brick on top and not, not on. Because then you can't unplug things. Right angle, three and a half millimeter. It's an adapter I had. Uh, this has the same double wire where it's it's like just a nice rubberized insulated cable that goes up to a split. This is the one that the FH5 had, which makes perfect sense. And on the FH5, this center bit was able to come apart and I was able to slide the slide the slit further over. Here it's sort of staying together. I don't mind it. Very, very aggressive um, ear hooks, by the way. Like, almost the most aggressive of any IM I've used. Like, look at that. That is that is just staying there. And these are not heavy, but they're not light. I could, they, they are exactly what you expect them to feel like. There's there's one of them over here that's... Which one is it? Is it the Believes? The KB Ear Believes, I think? Yeah, those are like the, the hanging, like, heavy motherfuckers. They're trying to do that, that OHN solid copper thing. These just are, these are fucking quality. So I guess the, the uh, recommendation I'm giving to you is if you've never had, well, I mean, there, there is no headphone really. I don't think there's a headphone that competes with the imaging that these have. A headphone ever, ever that has ever been. Because something about IMs and getting them real close to your ear canals and then having them have good imaging, just good imaging, beats pretty much all headphones. So having them have exceptional imaging I mean, we're talking about levels of like Buchart levels, like says speakers, where, where where shit happens and you could you could pinpoint it. That's what these hundred and thirty IMs are capable of doing, because you're taking everything and you're the smaller you make something, the closer you get. Like okay, speakers are one, but now it's obviously easier to control headphones, so those are a little bit easier. So you don't need as expensive a headphone, but now you're getting down to IMs. You're getting you're just miniaturizing the fucking the problems. One, two, three. So if you can do fantastic things in this, it, it'll beat everything up cascading up. I think these have better imaging than like HD 800s for $130. And I that should be enough to want to buy them. That should be enough to want to fucking try them at least. I'm just sitting here and I want to use the word creamy again because it's just my favorite word for audio. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I started a company, oh fuck, I can't, can't say it now, now it's fucking, the URLs are all gone. 
You want to get some creamy audio with those creamy speakers? Mm. Put some creamy wires in there. It would be a perfect fucking meme company. I would sell real things, but it would just, you know, put some cream on your, put some sauce. The commercials, I would pay for, like, models to pour cream. Oh, I'll be great. But it's over now because I said it in a YouTube video. So, back to the listening for a second. I want to get my, my, because, I mean, I can't, I don't want to force people to buy these and be like, oh, my God, they're the best. But they are in a certain aspect. They're the best at imaging. They're spectacular at imaging. So if that is the one thing that you're like, you know what, I really don't have a good imaging pair where, where I can delineate the space around me and the instrument placement. Because you could have the bassiest I am, you could have super clear highs and clear vocals, and you could have a um, placement of sound more in the front than in the rear. These are some more like a, more like a rear placement. That's just IMs in general, or headphones in general. And the only thing that really can sound in front of you is fucking speakers, because they are. And it's the way that the timing comes. And I'm sure you could tweak that if you wanted to with, like, a crossfeed. But, yeah, no, these these are pretty much the best uh, imaging IMs ever. Because they need one thing. I won't, I won't get, like, I won't froppy you unless it does one thing better than its predecessors. And it's all I had to do. It just had to be a better imaging set of IMs. And now I'm waiting for the for the next gen to come with the higher and higher and higher tiers. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's good enough to give these a full fucking nod. Their their FIO build quality, their FIO, you know, customer support, and they image like a motherfucker. So bravo FIO. Uh, oh, accessories it comes with the soft case. It has. They always do this. They come with the. The hard plastic, like, heavy case. Like, I guess if you're packing this to go on a trip, you throw this in your luggage. So here you got that. Although, if you're going on a trip, and you're not using these on the plane, well, are you getting on a plane? Shit, it's 2020. No one's really going anywhere. Anyway, here's all the tips it comes with. Um, some foams, some of uh, Fio generic foams, which are actually not terrible. They just don't come in enough sizes for my ears. Uh, different silicones. We've got gray, we got white, and we've got... Black silicones. They come with a fuckload of tips. These are all the tips it comes with. Comes with this case. Comes with the soft case, which is the case I actually prefer. Because what I end up doing is I just put the IEMs in here, close it, zip it with just just the IEM heads, and then I'll give it one give it one of these and throw this in my bag. Because that just seems better than trying to squeeze this fucking monstrosity. Because it's just, just as long as you keep the IMs from getting smashed and the wires are cheap enough. So, good. Thank you, Fio, for sending this out. And uh, download that wallpaper in the description. And if you want to support this channel, Patreon and Subscribestar are helping fund the improvements to the corner of the basement, which I have to, which, unfortunately, funding doesn't make me want to cut hundreds of feet of cloth to I'll get to it, all right? I'm getting to it. But I got this nice light, which I don't know is affecting with the sun. It's hitting me right in the face. Like, you can't imagine, like, the, the annoyance of it hitting me right in the face. But, yeah, Patreon subscribe stars. See these videos early. Participate in the yard sales. Um, if you'd like to ask me questions, there's a $10 tier for the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat. Which uh, I'll answer your questions if you at me there. There's a public Z reviews Telegram where you might have your questions answered if you want to check that out. Um, subscribe to our Patreon have the same exact same benefits. The yard sales happen from the first to the tenth of every month. Would I? I might yard sale the FH3s simply because they're so new. Like I feel like they're the best image, but if something comes out, I want to compare the imaging. This is why I can't fucking sell shit. Because then it's like, huh, I wonder what it sounds like compared to the old one. Oh, I sold the old one. Oh, we'll see. I just buy them again if I really need to compare. Um, so the wallpaper, hi-fi guides I've already showed you on the forums. Over 13,000 signed in members and 13,000 anonymous members on hi-fi guides at all times. Like every day, consistently. So thank you guys for helping that place grow. I mean, I'm not there. At all. I mean, I'm there, but I'm not like there constantly pushing it. So that's you guys growing something, and that's pretty fucking special. Uh, yeah, are we done now? Can I please fucking turn the sun off? Oh, God, my, it's right in, it's been moving into my eyeballs the entire time. I'm done. Thank you for stopping by. This has been Zeos Pantera of Z Reviews. And um, these are damn good Fios. Damn good. <laughs>